Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm be teaching this glowing painting effect. Now this sort of effect is really simple and easy to make, but really effective. So you've probably seen this effect um, in a written tutorial on the internet. So if I jump over to it, now this is someone's uh, written tutorial, which I'm just making into a video format for people so they can understand a bit more better, and it's more up to date on. Uh, Photoshop as his was done I think was quite a while ago in a different Photoshop so a few things are set differently so you can um, bas basically jump between the written tutorial and my video so you can properly understand it so if we jump into things you're going to be needing two uh, pictures which is this one and this one right here now you can get those two pictures off my website you can download the source files or you can go to the written tutorial which is the link is going to be in the description bar and you can get them off of there so once we've got them both images we want to insert the first image into Photoshop this one right here and then we're going to go and drag and drop this second image into Photoshop on this particular image and once you drop that in you'll get the free transform automatically enabled and we're just going to bring that to the right size that we want so about there do and then you're going to go and click the tick icon at the top and then we're going to go and zoom in and we're going to go and click the pen tool which is on the left hand side and we're just going to go and mark around the guy so you might want to take a little while with this now if you're not familiar with the pen tool you can go and have a look at some of my other tutorials teaching you about the pen tool um, which is on my channel it's pretty easy you just gotta uh, take your time with it now I'm not gonna um, wait all day to go around uh, this person you only need to go around one of them you don't need to go around the four of them so it's simple so I'm just gonna go and skip this bit and I'll come back once I have selected the full person so I'll see you in a minute now once you have a general outline of the guy so we've gone all the way around him and we've got this rough outline what we're going to do now is we're going to play with the brush settings so we can go to the brush up here and we're going to the brush uh, settings you can either find it on the right hand side here or if you haven't got that you can go to windows and you can go to brush um, presets so if we find that and then just click brush in the tab now from here we're going to change some of the settings so in the brush tip shape we're going to change the size to 8 pixels now you can go lower than that I would suggest going lower depending on the, the brush that you're going to use if you want to use the same brush as him then stick with it but I'm not going to use the same brush as him I'm just going to use a thick brush which you can see is the 30 one up here and we change the size again now it's fine it still has the same sort of effect it's fine whatever you want to do depending on the sort of brush so from there we're going to go to dual brush and we're going to change the size to 29 spacing to 25 we're going to have the both axes checked off and that's going to be going to be the scatter is going to be zero percent the count is going to be set to three now from here he set the mode color burn so you want to set that and as I said he has used a different brush now you can go and find the sort of brush that he used now if you can't find um, that particular brush in um, this panel right here you can go to um, your brushes over on the left hand side go to the top drop down menu and then go to the right hand side arrow drop down menu and you can click some of these packs here now this will load um, more uh, brushes for you to have a look at and see if it's in there which it should be so once you've done that we're going to go back to the brush presets and we're going to go to transfer now on this one we're going to have the opacity jitter set to 0% the control set to off the flow jitter set to 0% the control set to pen pressure the minimum set to 0% and you want to make sure that you've got smoothing 
ticked on also. Now we can go and hide that and we're going to go make a new blank layer. So on the bottom right hand side. Now once you've done that we're going to go to the pen tool, right click and we're going to go to stroke path. Now you want to make sure that your colour or your foreground colour is set to white and we're going to go to tool set to brush simulate pressure checked on and then go to ok and then we're just going to zoom out we can hide that picture below it so there and then we can hit the delete key on our keyboard to get rid of that rough outline now from the here we can go to the move tool and we can move him down so he's round there somewhere and we can go to the blending uh, mode so this first guy is going to be slightly different to the other sort of uh, guys so all we're going to do is we're going to set the blending mode to overlay on him so he's like that and then we're going to hit control and J to duplicate now if you don't um, understand me that well um, you can duplicate him by dragging and dropping um, that layer onto the new layers icon on the bottom right hand side now once you've done that we're going to go to the move tool and we're just going to move that one over and we want about another three of him so we're going to go over there and another one so around there now once you have done that we're just going to go and change some of the blending modes now so if we um, double click the top one we're going to have a inner shadow so click that and we're going to go and have the contour uh, set to this curved one here and the colour is going to be set to white like that and then you can leave basically the options as they are so for the distance we're going to change to 1 and the rest is going to be kept the same and then we're going to go to uh, outer glow and we're going to change uh, the colour to this one so it's going to be F D A A O 4 and then click OK the size is going to be set to 16 and you want to make sure the blending mode is green and the opacity is set to 75 now if we go back to inner shadow there is one thing I do want to change is the opacity is going to be 100% um, on that one and then we're going to go and click OK now from here we can right click and press copy layer style and we can just paste them onto uh, the other ones so paste layer style paste layer style and once more paste layer style now as you see the first um, the first character has gone a little bit weird so what we're going to go and do is we're going to go over to the first picture and we're going to go and change the blending mode to if we go to the drop down menu and it's going to be color burn and we're going to drop the opacity somewhere around there and we're going to double click on that layer and then we're going to go to uh, color overlay and we're going to double click that and we're going to go and select a orange color so just need to play around and find the right orange so around about there would do so this one is B79043 
So I'll say that again, B79043, then click OK, and we can bring the opacity of that down or up, depending on your preferences at the time. So around about there. So probably about 80%, depending on your taste, and then click OK. And then basically all we have to do is we're going to hold down the control and we're going to go and select all uh, four of them and we're going to go and make a folder so on the bottom right hand side click the folder icon and we're going to call that light and we can just put those four guys into that folder so drag and drop into that folder and we can hide that and then all we got to do is make the uh, ground sort of walkway so we're going to go to the picture that we hid and we're going to go make a new blank layer above that and we're going to go to the rectangle tool so on the left hand side rectangle tool and all we have to do is just go to the top and make sure that you've got uh, this one selected at the top rectangle tool and then this one paths and we're just going to make that now all we have to do on here is basically just right click after we've done that go to stroke path same as normal brush uh, and simulate pressure and that's set to that delete to delete the uh, pathway and all we have to do is control and J to duplicate and we're just going to space those out um, evenly so you want to get a basically about 10 on this picture so we're just going to go along and it should automatically drop them into place as soon as you drag them away so we're just going to keep doing that now I'm just going to do this really really quickly so I'll be back in a second so I'll see you in a minute 